Sarah Ann Gill was a free colored woman who practiced Methodism when Methodists were viewed as anti-slavery agitators. In 1819, she donated money to help build the first Methodist chapel. But in 1823, a mob destroyed the church. I, I, I don't know Caribbean. Grew up in a time that's unsettling Too much shit here worth mentioning Social religious leader in Barbados Sarah Ann Gill is a national heroine Died 1866 February 25th Born to a black mother, white father Married Alexander Gill Who was also of mixed descent The Methodist church sent missionaries In the early 19th century was getting very hot for them Cause the plantation owners wanted them to leave the island or disown it But Sarah Ann embraced the faith Finally they kicked him out so she created a meeting place Opened up a home to congregations They fired shots at her home and set fires blazing They passed laws saying her meetings illegal And she needed licensed preachers for the people Donated land on which the first Methodist church was built Always kept her faith high like some stilts Defied the odds cause she was non-white Plus a woman white mob riots on site Destroyed the first chapel that was in Bridgetown Which in 1819 she donated 10 pounds To help construct She was so vital She was called Sarah after Sarah in the Bible For giving alternatives to the white dominated church of England A new church was built in 1848 for her served cause So it's only right she was buried in the churchyard her home became a meeting place for Methodists. This was illegal and she was prosecuted twice. She continued and faced much persecution. She was burnt in effigy. In 1825, she provided land for a new chapel where James Street Methodist Church is now located. On June 25, 1825, the House of Commons in England declared protection and religious tolerance be secured to all. The Anne Gill Memorial Church is named in her memory. Sarah Anne Gill, defender of Methodism, national heroine of Barbados.